I was a brand new paramedic and it was, I was like 20, 21 years old. I had, had children on my own. They were fairly young at the time. And a mother, a mother called. Uh, she was a brand new mom. Um, and when I got there, she was basically just rolling up and down, running up and down the stairs. I mean, crying and screaming. Uh, I arrived to the child's bedside. Uh, it appeared not to be uh, breathing. It was very mottled. Um, at that point, I just instantly grabbed the child and started running to the truck. We put the baby in, in the back of the truck. We performed our CPR as we were taught to do so. Uh, and then we raised the children's with an effort to try to save this child's life. I am Kenneth Farwell. I'm a battalion chief of the ACIF at Northeast Amazon Fire Protection District. We're humans too, behind the badge, but you know, you got kids, you see, you understand what the parent goes through, because you think about it, that could happen to me. We want to be able to go into the community and educate parents and families on the life-saving skills of infant CPR. Um, it, there's evidence that shows that if an infant or child receives bystander CPR, it can double or even triple the chance of survival. Um, you know, Ron and Darty Business Solutions really stepped up and they're helping us to implement and bring and elevate this infant CPR program in the community. My team and I are proud to partner with and support the great work of the American Heart Association. You know, the thing that pulled me into the campaign even more this year is the focus on helping the infants, the babies in our community with health issues, the most innocent and vulnerable members of our society who need and deserve all the help we can give. I recently had the opportunity to visit an infant intensive care unit and I heard the nurses talk about how providing an infant CPR kit and the training to use it to the parents and their families is often the difference between life and death. Imagine mom or dad or a grandparent watching the baby and the baby stops breathing. Their knowledge of how to perform infant CPR at that instant could save that young life. And with our help, they can have that knowledge. Response time nationally is anywhere from three to four minutes, and we try to obviously meet that response time to just any location. Brain dies between four to six minutes. It, it starts dying at four and completely dead at by six. So we know that anyone that we know is in cardiac arrest, especially an infant, we have a very short time to get to where we have to. So if we can train the people out there to start these procedures early, then that's going to help alleviate that four minute response time for us. I'm asking everyone to join this infant health movement with our help, we can put the infant CPR kit and the training to use it into all the hands that need it. Please join with me and the AHA in expanding the reach of the infant CPR training program in area hospitals and in homes across St. Louis. Let's invest in the health of our community and the lives of our children. The ultimate goal for the American Heart Association is to create an army of lifesavers. So we want everyone to learn this important skill. Um, for less time than you probably sit in traffic every day, you can learn hands-only CPR and how to perform it on an infant or child. Your two hands is all you need to save a life.